tell you your dream. you breathe, taking you deeper. Then the bouncing around of the wheelchair just happening a thousand miles away. As you just sink and drift nice and deep into the sea. And now you really can, now that you're completely relaxed and asleep. Just let yourself sink right the way down. And one of the interesting things about this sleep is that when you wake up out of it, you'll have no memory that you were in it. You won't know where you are. You will have no sense of any time having passed. That's so important. It was only a second ago that you remember being out there on the street. The whole thing happens in the blinking of an eye. That's good. something once we're done here. Your name is Tony Brent. You're 34 years old. You live in Swindon. You moved house earlier this year. You have a fiancé called Denise. You met her at work in 2005. Your mother is called Carol. Your father is called Tony. You work as a divisional attachment manager. Your father was in the RAF. You moved to Cyprus with the RAF for a couple of years in your teens. You used to see a girl called Carrie White. You lived with her in Cheltenham for several years. You no longer have feelings about her. You sometimes miss Cheltenham. You can talk at length about Cuba, New York, Lomond, Dominican Republic, Rome, Portugal. You've been on holidays with Denise and his you had fun. The first son is Oliver, who's born by C-section, he weighed 11 pounds. The second son is Harry, he weighed 10 pounds 14 ounces, he went to hospital when he was three years old. Your brother, Lord Mark, who's in with you and your son's name. The first son is Oliver, who's born by C-section, he weighed 11 pounds. Shit, raise the dopamine levels and load the What's up, up then? Harry, he weighed 10 pounds 14 ounces. I need him paralyzed, I need him bloody paralyzed. What's up, then? I need gas, gas, I need gas. Sleep. Sleep. You're about to wake up in the middle of the street, exactly where you were. No time has passed in your mind since you were on the operating table a second ago. That's important. What's real and what isn't. What if you woke up to find you were the subject of someone's experiment? <laughs> 